In today's video we're going fishing, but we're not going to go normal fishing, we're going to go fishing like aquarium people do. We're going to do it with a net and a bucket and see what we can catch. Now I went to this particular reserve some weeks ago to record a wonderful conservation effort being done by local government, which is a local sporting precinct that has a creek around the side of it that used to be totally submersed and just an underground drain and it's been daylighted and the wildlife is coming back to this wonderful waterway a newly daylighted creek uh, these are not snake proof shoes but we are going to go looking for Australian rainbow fish which I'm pretty sure I saw on a previous visit or something which is a bit unusual so when I was here filming about this daylighted creek, I did see some fish that seemed to have some red and black on some quite long looking fins. So I'm back today to see if I can catch some, put them in a container, video them and identify what they are. It is another hot summer's day here in Melbourne and we are now back at our fishing spot. And we're going to try and catch some fish and see what we can see. Today, the water is really, really brown. So it's very hard to see in the water to really know what on earth to try and catch with my net. But look, we're going to try anyway and we'll see what happens. I've got something. So let's have a look in this container and see what did I catch. These are little fish, so let's see, they're very, very active, and let's have a look up, they are Gambusia, or Western Mosquito Fish, also called the Plague Minnow. These little fish have gotten all around the country, they are a noxious pest, they're a life bearing fish, and they've taken over the waterways. So we've had quite a bit of rain and you can tell the water has turned completely yellow and this is from clay as clay has been washed into the stream. You can see that we've got a series of ponds separated by these rock barriers and each pond full of water has a lot of fish but I just can't see inside to see what kinds of fish they are. Now I was hoping to find some rainbow fish today. I saw I'm pretty sure I saw something that looked very rainbow fish like with some red and some black coloration on some fins that looked far too long to be Gambusia. So I'm pretty sure there's something else living in this water apart from Gambusia, but I just can't see in this water to try and put anything in a net. But there's a lot of insects, I can see huge amounts of bees dragonflies, butterflies. The water may look terrible, but it's got a lot of life thriving in it and around it. The whole area is just full of life, and that's what water can bring. So I'm gonna go across this creek and see if I can find more little pools with these different um, billabongs along this little creek. And we'll see in each one if I can actually catch anything which is not a mosquito fish. One of the reasons mosquito fish are so problematic is that they are incredible breeders. There are literally hundreds of thousands, almost millions of them in the water. That They are incredibly aggressive as well as being very hungry little fish. And on the small side, that means they can get into very shallow water all around the water's edge. So with that um, appetite, these mosquito fish have the ability to eat all the eggs, all the hatching fry of not only insects, not only aquatic water larvae, but also of other aquatic animals. And that includes frogs, that includes um, yabbies, that includes various crustacean, and other water creatures and other fish which can be just competed so severely against that nothing else can live in waterways where Gambusia have taken over. They really are 
almost a little freshwater piranha uh, and able to decimate the populations of other aquatic life. So there are reasons why um, local governments do make certain animals and plants um, illegal to keep and own because they have such a tremendous impact on the local environment. Now I'm going to continue to search along this creek and along these ponds and I'm really hopeful even though I can't see anything I'll just keep dipping my net into um, any movement that I can see and I just hope I can find something which is not a western mosquito fish in my net. Okay, it hasn't been good. I've not been able to catch anything other than mosquito fish so far. So I've been trying each little pool, but uh, so far to no success. Everything I've caught has been more and more gambusia. So I'd like to come back when the water's clearer and try again. Well, no rainbow fish today, but we will come back when the water is clearer and we'll see what we can find then. Until then, here's some more videos. Sit back and enjoy.